Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is a brand new. If you want to keep up to date on what is new at the Dollar Tree, then be sure you always check out the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos that I post throughout the week because those are the videos that you're going to see what is new and what to look out for. I always link those down below so it's easier for you to find. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and link that down below as well. So with all that said, let me dive in and let me show you on what I purchased. Okay, so they have these really cool signs. I don't recall ever finding something like this shape. I already have an idea what I'm going to do with this. They have three different ones. So this one looks like, well, like mountains, but that's not what I'm going to use it for. But it says dreaming it has a galvanized sticker on it. But look, it looks like marble. You can hang it if you want. Now, if you don't plan on hanging it and do something else, go ahead and take this off and use it on something else. The other one they had is Welcome and Family. Now, to give you an idea on how big these are, I'll do the circle one, it's about eight inches. So they're pretty good size. And these are with all the picture, um, picture frames and canvas art and everything. So those are really cool. I uh, picked up a couple of pictures. Now, I do not keep them in this frame that they come in because I absolutely don't like the colors. You can always spray paint it, um, do whatever, but I always like to take the picture out and do something else. You can also cut it out and Mod Podge it on the things. But I thought this print was really cute. These are by Special Moments, and this is an 8 by 10 But look at the colors and everything. How cute is that? So what you can do is just cut those out and put them on a canvas or something. And then they had this one. How cute, that's something you can keep up all year. And you know, Labor Day, Memorial Day, 4th of July, how cute. Again, I don't like the color of the frames. Josie. Uh, they have some new cosmetic bags. These are up by the register. They are carrying more and more items that are tie-dye. So look at that. I think they had four different colors. They have a gold zipper. Now before you buy any kind of cosmetic bag or anything that has a zipper, go ahead and take a split second and see if it works because I have bought multiple things before with zippers and the teeth are broke or it's snagged or whatever. So just make sure it works. So I picked that up. They have some really cool magnets. Of course, they're hanging on the plastic strips, so always be sure you check those plastic strips down every single aisle and every checkout lane because you never know what you might find. But they had, a, uh, I think, four or five different ones. One side says clean, the other side says dirty. Now, on the top here, it says great for the dishwasher. Great idea because in my house, you're like, are the things in the dishwasher clean or dirty? The only way I would find, you know, figure it out is if there's water sitting on the top of the cups or something. That's how I know if they were clean. So you can just stick this on your dishwasher if you want. And there you go. And it's pretty stiff. Nice. Uh, they have some new um, fabric neck gator. As, yeah, gator, I think that's what they're called. You get one per pack. They are adult size 9 inch. They have three different ones. So we have that one that one and that one and it gives you all different ways to use them. I'm going to go ahead and open one. Josie, the West Ink. Got to get them in to get their teeth done. That's stinky. Okay, so this is what it smell it. Of course, I got to smell everything. I'm just I'm just one of those people that just, they, I just have to smell. What is that? Hmm. So let's see. So there's one way to, well, it's already fallen down. So maybe it'll stay on my husband. You can probably wear it as a headband, um, a head wrap maybe. So I mean, it's not bad. If anything, you could probably cut it and use it for something else. Use it in the background of a picture or something, you know, like cut the truck out or whatever words and have this in the background. 
that give me an idea. When I found these, I'm like, okay, either they're early or they're late. Don't know. But I went ahead and picked one up of each and I'm gonna put them up for Christmas. And these are by Floral Garden. These are decorative filler. You get a 25 cubic inch bag. So it's like winter scene. So like I said, don't know if they're late or early. You never know. And then they had this one, more of the gold. And this one was more of your silver. Interesting. They came out with two new colors of these essential storage bins. These are the 12 inch, um, 12 inch by nine inch, um, seven inch. This one is more of your gray and whites. And this one is, well, dark gray, and this one's more of your light gray. I'm trying to remember the other colors. I got one of mine over there, but I can't tell. Of course, gonna break out the scissors. Oh, wait, no, I don't. So here, it does have like a metal frame. Now, what I like about these is that I have a lot of baskets of toys in the other room, like the dog toys. I'll have like the squeaky toys, the rubbery kind of toys. I have the rope toys. I have the ball, <laughs> um, ball toys and bones, all in separate baskets. I know, I'm weird. But if I wanted to, I could use one of these little baskets and keep it like in this room and have a little variety of toys in here so I don't have them forbid if the dogs walk in the other room to get a toy. You know, but look how nice that is. And this will be even something cute to do up a little basket for someone for a baby shower or a bridal shower or a um, bachelorette party or something, you know, and they can use it for other things. So picked those two up and these, oh, they have four different colors. These are amazing colors this year. Look how big these baskets are. These are amazing. They're called tote bags. I had to get the coral color and I went ahead and got the blue. They also have it in pink and oh, I can't remember the other color. What was the other color? I'm not sure. But these are perfect for the beach, for the pool, for a bath toys, whatever. Because I love taking this kind of stuff. We always go to the beach at least once a year. It's usually Traverse City or Sagatug, I think. Um, what other parts of Michigan have we gone to for the summer? But anyway, that's where we go for the beach, spend the day or two there. And I like to get stuff like this for my kids to put like their wet swimsuit in when we change in the car. They can put their towel there. They put like a bucket, a shovel, some snacks or something. So yeah, these are super duper cute. And if they break or if they get lost or whatever, they are only a dollar. Let me see if I can give you the height. And let's see, there's 12 about 14 inches tall and about 13 inches long. Oh, amazing, amazing. They have some new pads of paper from Crown Jewel. These are just absolutely beautiful colors and sayings on the front. I went ahead and got this one for my mother-in-law. She lives in Grape, Grape, <laughs> Grape, is it Grapevine? Grapevine, uh, uh, Texas. So I am going to send her that. I like to send her things here and there. And, you know, we'll send her, um, like I bought her some shorts and sometimes shoes or a picture of the kids or a drawing the kids did. And she loves going to church. And the people at our church are the ones that um, take care of her, you know, take her to the grocery store, help her with things and everything. So this one I thought was really cute. Love the colors. You get a hundred pages. I am not, I'm not going to open it up because it's, I'm going to give it to her, but I know they're lined pages. So yeah, these are up by the register. And again, I think they have like five different ones. Uh, these, I buy these every year. My kids love them. They're ages four and up. Well, these are for four and up, but they're compact. Again, these are perfect for the beach. But, whoa, look at that. I got them green and black. They have it in blue and red. And I think it was white and I'm trying to think of the other color. But these are super cute. My kids will catch frogs. They've caught, you know, of course, butterflies, moths, weird things. 
You always see Alex out there going like this. But like I said, this is something cute to take to the beach or whatever. Stick that in there, do a little shovel or whatever. Look at just how cute that is. But yes, I love these nets. I love them. This is a great deal for only a dollar. So if you have little ones that like to catch things or whatever, I like these. I, I, I recommend those. Awesome book. Oh, this is Purr, A Cat Therapy Guide to Happiness. This thing is heavy. Can't tell you what it retails for because they put a sticker over it. But look what it does. It has an on-off switch. Turn it on. I want to show you just a page or two. So they just have different pages of different kitties and sayings and everything. And this is Charming Purr. And then you have happy, speaking, reassuring, de-stressing. What? For a dollar? This thing is heavy too. So for those cat lovers or animal lovers, this is a cute, adorable book for all ages. So, so cute for only a dollar. It's just... It's just amazing. My per therapy session at night, go to sleep while asking your cat guide a question that would help to clarify a situation. In the morning, take a few moments to remember your dreams. Push the speaking purr. Oh, cute. So I picked up uh, that book. Oh, my legs fall asleep. Okay, a few other items. This is amazing find. Now I am not a fan of slime anymore. I am so glad my kids are out of that stage, especially Ava. <sighs> slime everywhere but this I had to get why because you can find this at Target for $19.99 Walmart Amazon I think they're like $29.99 this is a youtuber this is Craft City oh what uh they're pre-made mini slimes customize these ready to play slimes ages eight and up you get ten of them cute little gift as well. Look at that. For only a dollar. Just crazy. And another slime item, ages eight and up by Craft City. You get two uh, ooey, gooey scented slimes. Soda slime pack, grape and orange. Two containers of slime. They are three ounces. Now I... I'm going to go ahead and open this one. I'm not going to open the big one just because my daughter can probably give it to one of her friends for a birthday or something. Because I like to buy stuff to already have. So when my kids, oh, mom, I want to go over here, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, I already have something. So this is what the container looks like. This one's the orange. And it is sealed, which is great. I think, I think my family left me. It's awfully quiet. They must have already left. They're probably like, yeah, we're not going to wait on mom. That's all right. I have Jenny time. We're having a time together peacefully. Wow. Ooh. It smells like a sun kissed belch. That's what it smells like. Just gulp. Sun kissed and burp loud. That's what it smells like. Is it really gooey? No, it's not gooey. Definitely smell like a belch. So yeah, burp, belch. Those are the only two words for burp, right? I don't know. Confusing myself, my brain's gonna start hurting. All right, and the last item I picked up is this um, Premier Home. Is it Raffia? Raffia? Ralph? Ninety nine yards. One hundred percent rayon. The name brand? I don't know. I got it because it's green. I'm sure I can figure something out. I thought I bought one of these at the beginning of the year, maybe? I think it was red. Red or pink. I'm not sure. Ooh. Okay. You know what? I watched a video that someone did something with this. So, yeah. I think the Dollar Tree usually has, like, a brown color, green color. Wow, that's a lot. I like the green. So... I'll figure something out. 
I can figure, you know what, I could even use that for grass. If you're doing a DIY or something, cut strips, glue them on a frame or a piece of wood. Oh, it opens up. Oh, and pretend it's grass. So you have like a 3D print. But look, it spreads open. It could be a flower. Oh, a flower. All right, too much time on that. So that, my subby friends, is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. I know there's a quite a few of you that's been asking how I've been doing. Uh, the last time I said anything, it's been a while. Um, I've been dealing with kidney stones, um, kidney infection. I have inflammation on my right kidney. It's the same one I had a stent put in. Um, there is a growth still on there, which they found over a year ago. It's a little bit bigger. See, it started out, I think it was a three centimeters or three millimeters, and then it jumped up to 13. And the doctor thinks, you know, it's bigger, but I think that's what's been causing a lot of issues because, you know, the kidneys, you get back problems. I've had back problems. I have muscle spasms and I have two bulging discs and I have arthritis and all that fun stuff that goes along with age. And I think with just playing sports for as long as I did all these kind of sports and put a lot of, you know, pressure on my body. I think that's just catching up with me now that I'm 45 and a mother of five. But other than that, you know, I'm doing doing fine. I've been dealing with it. I've already gone through two sets of antibiotics. The first one I was on for seven days, I took twice a day. And then it kind of cleared up, went away for about mm, four or five days. And I start feeling the pain come again. I'm like, oh, it's so much pressure. Oh, the pressure. I'm like, eh. Called the doctor. I said, hey, doc. I said, I don't know if you want to test me again or take a look at it or you just want to call me in the antibiotic again. Luckily, he just called it in. So I started up another week of antibiotics and I took my last one two days ago. Yeah, so far I'm doing better. So I'm hoping it just stays away for a little while because I'm just not ready to go and doing all this stupid testing again and CTs and MRIs and these P test things, they stick a tube up in your bladder and pump it with water and it feels like you're, ugh, it's just, I don't want to do that again. I got to get a colonoscopy done yet. I got to get this tooth fixed. It broke in half and I'm just petrified of, I'm just falling apart. So just bear with me. I'm just, I'm, I'm venting. So every day it's something, but you know what? Like I've said before, there's always a reason to smile. No matter how bad of times you're going through, no matter what grief or sadness or worries, just take a second, smile. And for that split second, you are going to feel much better. So whatever you do, just try to do a smile at least once a day. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling.